And just a little earlier, we spoke to the husband of the woman who was killed and the father of the little baby now fighting for her life. It was right over here where he and his wife's life that they had been building together was destroyed. It's like I'm living a, a nightmare and I'm hoping to wake up soon. But I'm saying that reality is she's gone. And she, my daughter's the only thing that I have left. James Alvarez is still trying to reconcile how the love of his life, 23-year-old Yesenia Aguilar, was taken away from him at such a momentous point in their lives. <laughs> this was just three months ago when, at a gender reveal party, the couple announced they were having a girl. The news came after two years of trying, and the couple was taking no chances. Recently, they started taking evening walks based on the advice of their doctor. It was on one of those walks Tuesday evening when everything changed. I was holding her hand. I was trying to pull her away towards me. As they were on Catella Avenue near Bayless in Anaheim, a Jeep jumped the curb and hit Yesenia. She didn't survive. But their baby did. This is video of Adeline Rose that James took in the hospital where the little girl is fighting for her life. I'm just praying that she is healthy. She's the last thing I have from her. You know, like the last thing I have. And she was so excited to be a mom. We've been trying for two years. And finally, we're blessed to have a, a beautiful princess. And we're a month away from birth. And all of a sudden, out of a second, my life changed. And here is a picture of the woman now under arrest. Police say this was a DUI caused fatality. Now, Courtney Pandolfi of Garden Grove, 40 years old, is under arrest booked on murder charges because they say she has driven under the influence before. Now, as for that baby, we're told that what they're looking for right now is trying to see if the baby might have any brain damage. Uh, James doesn't know at this point, so they're keeping a close eye. He's hoping for the best. Meantime, there has been a GoFundMe page set up for he and the baby for all the future costs they may incur for her condition and everything else that goes along with losing his wife. If you'd like to contribute to that GoFundMe fund, we have put a link to it on our story page on KTLA.com. For now, reporting live in Anaheim, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.